Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with another M Scrap Busters Challenge. That's the challenge run by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper. Uh, this is one she did a while back, but it's a good one, so I had to do it. Especially as I want to use some little bits and bobs like this in an upcoming project. They're just little tickets that she's made using a variety of stamps, anything you've got in your stash. And the edges from book pages music paper and I've also gone ahead and used some little strips of coffee dyed paper that I'd cut off the edges of journal pages when I've been putting my journals together so anything and everything that you've got in your stash yeah and you're saving it from going in recycling bin or bin because little bits of paper like this probably that's where they'd end up isn't it yeah so get your scraps out have a rifle through your stash and let's get cracking and I'm back. So here are all the bitters and bobbies I'm going to make my tickets from. Uh, I've been through my scrap box. This is my collage box. All my bits and bobs of scrap just get thrown in here and pieces of book pages, pieces of this, that other as you can see. So I've been through it and I've grabbed all my book page edges. Some as you can see I've got writing on. We may cut them down, we may not. I've also got some tea dyed strips because that's what's in my box. I'm not going to go to book pages and tear the edges off just to make these. I'm going to use what I've already got in my scrap box. Uh, with the exception of this, I'm going to get some book page edges from here. This was a book that I made some pockets from ready to go in journals and it's just wider than any journal I ever make. So I'm going to grab my ruler not necessarily my tear ruler, any ruler will do. And I'm just going to rip those bits off and they will be what I'm going to call ticket fodder. In that one I'm going to rip it off there, it's got a number on, not a problem. We'll incorporate that and I'll rip it again there. So now my book page pocket is small enough to go in a journal. Oh, it's got two sides there. And I'm going to make use of these edges that I'm tearing off. So, there you go. As you can see, I've got more to go at should I need them. Right, pop that to one side. And, yeah, that will fit now in whatever I want to put it in. Right, so, as you can see, I've got loads of edges. Uh, I loved it when Melina did some long strips of tickets in her video from these edges. So, I'm going to do that. But I've also got lots of bits and bobs. She also mentioned that the copy paper she was stamping onto would get used because you'll see as I stamp a lovely background started to appear. So I've got one of these sheets, it's the craft paper that I get from Amazon. I said I get from Amazon, I bought it once, I'm still going through the 50 sheets that I bought a couple of years ago. So it is a good investment that one. Right, so I like that. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. That's already got a number on. I'm going to use some bits of copy paper. That's the edge of a map book. I, do you know, I quite like that. So I think I'm going to use that as a background ready made. So I've been through all my various stamps. I've got my favourites out of my Tim Holtz Field Notes set. I've got this set that I really look after. It's by Crafty Individuals. It's, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. They just have numbers. It's postage bits and bobs, but I use that loads. But for the background, I'm going to grab this one. I've got quite a large. This is like, yeah, it's like a piece of ledger paper. So I'm going to ink this up and then I'm just going to stamp a bit of background on these tickets. I'm going to use my Versafine ink because I like Versafine ink. It gives you a nice um, detailed background. So, stampy, stampy, stampy. I'm not too bothered if I've co covered the whole thing and I'm not too bothered. I will use a stamp block. It's going to fall off now. This is going to fall off course. Guess what I didn't do? I didn't stick it on so... There you go. <laughs> That's that. Da -da. That's that. Now, hopefully, <laughs> this will be stuck to the block. Now I've pressed it down. Ooh. So I've just got some backgrounds there. Now I'm going to get some more strips and make some more backgrounds. So that one, not that one. I don't know why not that one. That one. 
it's just we're just having fun messing with scraps haven't we and that one and i'm going to press the whole stamp down onto those now because it's already stamped once these are not going to be as dark but not a problem look i like that effect a bit more there a bit there you don't have to cover it all so we've already got all those done and this is a nice little background building up ready for another project so how quick was that now i'm going to grab all my little bitty bobby stamps and i'm going to stamp some bitty bobbies all right so that's a label that's a... oh something to be aware of here I'm not happy with you tim i'm always seem to be moaning about tim Holtz. his newer stamps have got a thinner layer of rubber so they are a completely different depth can you see to his older ones now i like to put two or three different stamps on a stamp block and stamp them at the same time can't do that now tim can we Mm, but you can clearly see there's about a millimetre it could be a two millimetre difference in depth i think the sponge is slightly thinner as well and so is the rubber you can feel the difference and it really doesn't make a difference when you come to stamp so hmm yeah that is gonna make a difference to whether i buy any more of his new stamp sets sorry timber it is So I'm just going to come in and there you go. I like that. I'm not going to do every one of these in the same way. Let's Sorry, I don't know that one. Oh, do you not, Gertie? I really didn't know you knew anything about stamping, missus. That's going to go there. It's just a lovely, interesting little background. I'm using my sepia and my black to get different colours. I think I want a bit on there. And I'm stamping two, three, four times, so there's all different depths of colour. Can you see how quick these are going to come together? So I'm going to give the background stamping a bit of a rest now. And I'm going to come in and stamp some details and cut these up into little individual tickets. I don't know where to, which one to use first because they're all lovely. Right, so I've got another teeny tiny little stamp block. And I've been to socks, yeah. I am lucky to have quite a few of these Tim Holtz sets, especially ones I've had in Happy Mail. But my everyday items, look at that. That's older than my kids and it's perfect. I, I think you uh, US people are going to recognise this. It's Collider Colour Spectrum. Who's it by? Collider Colour. World's first non-bleeding raised rainbow dye ink pad. Now you can use these for doing lots. Of, oh, it's by Tuxino. Ah, that's why it's good. Is that the same people who make the Versafine? It is. Oh, look at that. Stamp. Nearly lost that. Cheek little minx. Because I don't have a lot of different colour stamps. I tend to stick to my boring ones. But I've got... That's blue. That's green. I don't know how dark that green is. So I think I'm going to go with this blue. And I want to stamp that there. Wow. Look at that. Older than my kids. My kids are 15, by the way, and still working. Yeah. Anyone who watched my video where I was unhappy with my old stamping up ink pads that were perhaps about, what, 10-year-old that had dried up. Can you see where I binned them? I've got these now. I'm going to say now. I've had them all this time. I don't throw anything away. I'm a hoarder. So when you see me using craft, craft supplies... Yeah, I've had a lot of them, a lot, a lot of years. Ooh, I'm going to put that on there. Whee! Oh, I'm liking that. Let's try a different stamp. Let's try a number and let's try some red. You can go there, I'm loving you. You can go there. Woo! <laughs> Pick that up. What can we put on there? Had enough of that one. Let's pick another one. I like this one. It's like its own little ticket. It's cute. Someone's doing DIY outside. Well, DIY. Gardening. DIY. Well, yeah, it's DIY, in it? So I do apologise if you can hear it. I don't think it's going to pick up on camera. Yeah, if you've watched Melina's video as well, you can see she has a much more organised approach to this. I'm more of a oh, random better... Sorry if you call Betty and you're not random. I don't know why I said that. Oh, I'm just loving. 
loving and liking. Let's have a big number now. And I'm going to try this green, although on the front it shows that really light, but I've got that little stamp. It's cheekier than my car. I've got a feeling it ain't actually going to be that dark. I don't know why. Mm, it's not that light, sorry, but it's not as dark as I want. And I did actually think that might be the case. So I grabbed another green ink pad that I got and I'm going to try that. All my stuff's piled up at one side. It's my little mementos. This is what I tend to do if I just want a colour. I buy little bitty ink pads. Do do that's definitely darker. Yeah, that's oh fly, go away, fly. Oh, I caught it. That's terrible. Let me go, baby wife. <laughs> oh my word, Julie crafting and catching flies. What chances are there happening, eh? I thought we're batting it out of the way. I batted it, squeezed my hand together, and lo and behold, I caught the blooming thing. Sorry. The death of a fly live on YouTube. I'm gonna try and get this in the same place. Oh, like it. Much prefer that green colour. Yeah, I do. So let's bring another one of these back in. Look at me. I just can't craft tidy. Whee. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway. Uh, I will draw that at the end of the month. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think I upset a few people, but some people were gracious enough not to be upset, but it did get me thinking. I'd started a giveaway to give away some left-handed scissors, but it didn't even dawn on me. That's going to exclude everyone who's not left-handed, isn't it? So I'm sorry. So I'm going to do an extra drawing from it. I will link the video that it's in below. And if you go to that video and comment, just any anyone who comments is now going to be included in that draw. So, yeah. I'm going to... Do that like that. Oh, I'm loving this. Yeah, because I'd mistakenly put left hand scissors on my wish list, and two people kindly bought me some. I think that would be because you could have damaged my Timolt scissors, and I were having a whine about it. So thank you, thank you. I don't know what colour to go for next. These ticket colours tend to be traditionally green, blue, and red, don't they? So yeah, I'm going to go for some blue again. I like this blue. Oh, we'll put you up there. Oh, I love that. I'm just being very random now. I can't be doing diagonal, though, with numbers. That's not going to happen. It's got to be up and it's got to, or it's got to be down. Do -do. I think I want some more blue there. Likey, like it. Right, I'm going to pause from stamping now. Put some lids on some ink pads so there's fewer disasters. And do -do. let's do some tearing and ripping and inking of edges. Right, I'm going to tear that there. I'm just going to tear bottom off that because I just want to tear bottom off. And that's a good enough reason. <laughs> that needs some more. Oh, I like that. And I'm going to grab my walnut stain ink, my Distress Oxide. And I'm just going to ink around some edges. See what occurs. This is so much fun. You really can't go wrong. And if you don't have any of these Tim Alt stamps with numbers, get rifling through your stamp stash, especially you card makers. I've found quite a few stamps that will be perfect for these i'm going to leave that big i like it i just really like that i even like how it's crinkled on the edge that doesn't bother me at all just like little snippety bits of vintage tickets so that's two done and i'm going to rip that so we've even got the ink from the edge of the book page there i like it look at that well, it's not ink, it's aging, isn't it? What do they call it? Foxing. Yeah, when you rip these up, if you think you want to stamp something else on, go ahead, stamp something else on. I'm going to leave this big because tickets aren't all tiny. Whee. Oh, I've been promising a few people in comments to tell a story on my channel. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, my word. 
you, you must if you you've been living under a stone if you don't know I've got a new cat and you've watched me yeah I lost my little Phoebe cat back in May was it yeah she was 20 she had a good innings old girl and we managed a month without a cat and then we had to get one so we adopted little Nala she's like a year and three months older and we got her so it's 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 been fun getting to know her in a quirky little ways and now one thing that Phoebe were never really interested in was hunting she was quite a I don't know. She was she was the most domesticated cat in the world ever. And Nala, not quite so much. Mm. Nala likes to chase mice and find mice. And there's plenty of places to find mice where I live because I'm back onto a stream and there's like a, I call it a small wooded area. And UK we won't call it, it it's actually waste ground that's just covered in trees. Yeah. It's just an area between two streets. And so, yeah, plenty of opportunity for my little cat to find mice. But to prove she loves us, she brought us one home. And it was alive. And, yeah, I have got a photo of this mouse. If you really want to see it, I'll put it on my uh, community page. But you've got to excuse the dust and dirt in the background because this mouse had gone behind my little uh, vanity unit that I have in my hall downstairs. You know where you put your basket and all your rubbish goes in it and you've got your mirror above to brush your hair? Well, the mouse went behind there and my word, do I need to move that and dust behind it more often? But yes, that's where we found the little mouse. Uh, we managed to get it outside. It ran outside and it ran under one of my little ornaments that I've got outside, which is a, um, I've got a rat. Yeah, rat. Plastic rat. <laughs> we got them for Halloween one year and kids loved them that much. They stayed. So we have two plastic rats outside front door. Yeah, funny not funny. I'm just cracking on with these while I rub it. You can see what I'm doing. You can so the fact that I'm rabbiting while doing it tells you how much thought you need to be putting into these. And the answer is not too much. Just crack on. They're all going to be unique. They're all going to be different. No one else is going to have the same little tickets and snippets as you. And these are going to be fabulous to put on um, tags, journal. You could even just put one on a journal page. I love anything unusual to put where. Especially when you do tea day and your pages rip sometimes, don't they? I'm going to make that into two. But I want a square one. I'm loving the square labels. As you can see, that's reflected in how I've torn these. So yes, the mouse went and hid under the rat outside. Now that's not funniest bit. Because me, like, I'm like, oh, poor little mouse, wonder if it's gone yet. So I go outside, I lift this rat up... Of course, the mouse shoots back out from under this plastic rat back in house. So like, oh my word, can't believe I've done that. Kids were like, mother, what are you like? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, luckily enough, it shot back in the front door. We've got the French doors open on the living room at back at house and it shot straight out back. So I think I did the mouse a service. It'd be much happier living in the wooded area than it would living in the front garden. Yeah, so that's the mouse story. So if you had seen part of the mouse story <laughs> in a comment to someone, that's the rest of the mouse story for you. So yeah, the uh, main thing to take from that is Nala is a hunter, I'm afraid. We would... I, I can't decide whether or not she needs a collar and a bell. There's two arguments, in there? There's if they get that caught on something, your cat can get hurt, but... I don't know. At least she seems to be catching them alive and they're still, yeah, still able to get on with their lives after I've released them back into the wild. So it's not, it's not such a sad story. The mouse did live. But yeah, Nala is a very cheeky, minxy little kitty cat. She's a lot younger than my Phoebe wear anyway, so she's going to be, isn't she? So, there you have it. Right, I'm going to do a little bit more stamping on these now they're ripped up. Because I can see where, where they just need things, don't they, some of them. And 
I think I'm going to do some black. They don't all have to be bright colours, do they? So get your verse fine back out, woman. Any black ink of your choice. There's no real one black ink that's going to work better than others. I'm going to put that there. And I think that needs to go there. Yeah, and I'm going to call that one done. I'll move them towards top when I'm calling them done. I'm calling that done. You're done. I like that. I know that's not got the most on it, but I'm calling it done. And that's done. I'm calling that done. I just am. And that's done. That one needs another number on. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're repetitive with your numbers because you're going to be using them in different projects. It's not like they're all going to go in one project. Oh, they might do. I don't know. It's up to you. I'm going to grab some more random numbers. Uh, that needs a number. And I think it needs a number sideways. Yeah, so that's not a very colourful one, is it? Let's put something colourful on that one. And I'm going to put this little bit. This is like a very small ledgery piece. This stamp. Details are all the things I use that I know where they've come from will be in the description. I like that. That's now done. I'm going to call that done. That's very bare, that's very bare isn't it? I think that needs... Yeah, I'm, I'm putting it in different colours, but I can live with that. Yeah, and I need not another round one. It's had a round one, hasn't it? Let's have another long number without the word number before it. And I'm going to put that down here in black as well. So I'm going to stamp it off on there first because I want it more. There we go. I like that. It just needed something, didn't it, that? Something, something. Oops. Oh, that's very brittle, that piece. Now, that one I'm thinking needs something round. So I've got this. This is from that new Tim Alt stamp set. I don't know what it's called, but I will list it. The one with the thinner rubber and the thinner sponge, Mr. Holtz. So that's not majorly impressing me um i'm gonna go red i think i can have two colors on one ticket i'm not printing these in straight because i've got all these colors together yeah i like that oh i like that i'm gonna put that on some more i'm gonna put it on that strip that's not finished i'm gonna put it on there because that one's now finished i'm just loving these you really can go to town can't you oh yeah I'm going to put loads of these all over that. I tried to do mine a bit different to Melina. I mean, the different in fact that I do them in a very disorganised manner. <laughs> Melina does them in a very organised manner. So that's already a big difference, isn't it? Can I have three colours on one? I certainly can. That's a very colourful ticket. Now, these need some numbers or something. And they need them in black or green or blue. Shocker. I'm going to stick to the same colours I've been using. I'm going to go blue. Mm. No, I don't want blue on without blue. So that's ended up on something else. I want black. So I'm going to use a different number. I'm, I, you can see how random I'm being. But I think they're turning out well. I hope you agree. I would use these. I will be using some of these in a coming... I keep promising this Tim Holtz folio. Right, well, quick quick peek. is a quick peek. I've, I've designed and made the flippy flappy folio. Whoa. It's gone now. Just to prove that I am actually doing it. <laughs> right, I'm just going to rip that now. Because I think that one's done. Link round the edge. I'm pretty... Happy with how many I'm getting done here. I like them. They are so cute. Brilliant idea, Melina. And these are all bits of paper that I suppose some of you have already chucked in the bin. So get rifling through your recycling bin. No, I, I'm joking. You don't have to rifle through recycling. But yeah, book page edges, fabulous for this. But as you can see from mine, they don't have to be book page edges. You can use anything. That's that one. 
I'm actually going to use this. It fell out. It's got a picture of a bird on. And I'm going to do it in blue. It's all looking like it needs a bit more blue down this end. I quite like that. And that needs a bit more blue. Yay. As you can see, I'm just using parts of the stamp. You don't need to use the whole stamp. And we'll rip that one there. And I'll rip that there. I was toying with the idea of making three out of that, but it's not quite going to happen. Whee. We could try and be unconventional and use a different colour. I'm, I'm itching to use purple, to be quite honest. It's my favourite colour. But I don't know what it's going to look like as a label, but does it matter? There's no rules, is there? So why am I imposing rules on myself? Let's make a purple one. I think I'm going to use that for it. And I'm going to use this. The bird. I'm not doing the actual bird. I'm just doing the writing from the edge. I quite like that purple, actually. So, yeah, you can use purple, woman. Get another stamp block out so you don't get inky fingers. I've had some of these years and I don't look after them very well. They're a little bit icky. I'm going to go watch this. This is why these are magic. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh look. So you can have like rainbow. I've got blue and purple there. I quite like that. Which one next? I've got this. And it says six and a quarter cents. It's so cute and I like it. So I want to use that one. Oh, someone's getting a rather more chompy power tool, aren't going to... Six and a quarter cents. I'm going to put it on there as well, because I'm going to rip this in half. I like that. Let's rip it, and then we'll decide what else it needs. I think this one's a really weird shape. I mean, you could cut these with your scissors. I just can't be bothered. I do that a lot lately, don't I? I'm not doing that, because I can't be bothered to do it. And that's fine. Whee. Yeah, I wanted to do Mitty Malt's um, folio this weekend, but I just didn't get organised in time. I'm having too many lions lately. It's, it's school holidays and... Yeah, I'm still a bit tired after COVID. I'm sleeping more than I did before. I don't feel ill or anything, so don't worry. But I just sleep a lot more than I did before I had it. Very strange. I've not got long COVID or anything like that either. I'm just more tired than I have been for a long, long time. Right, that needs something. And what it needs is a circular stamp. So I'm just going to plop it between my purple and my blue. And I'm going to pop it there. There we go. Right. Oh, I'm loving this background coming together. I think I've got more of my stamping on my labels than on my background, Melina, than you did. So it's not looking as good as yours, my background piece. Right, so we've got them. We've got them. I think, wow, I can't even count these. It'll probably take me five minutes to count them. But I'm very happy with how these have come out. And I'll be proud to use these in any journal. And wow, I've been at it half an, hour, half an hour. But yeah, that's quite a good amount of work, I think, for half an hour. Yeah, it totally is. Right, so check out Melina's channel and look at her version of these. Hers was much more organised. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit more hoo -hoo than Melina is. And also, I will link the video that you need to comment on for the giveaway. It must be that video. Don't, don't comment on this one to go in it because I won't be drawing from these comments. I will be drawing from that other video. I can't remember which one I did it in. Brain still not functioning. So I will link it underneath and it will be, it will say giveaway video. 
to leave your comment so that's everything i think i finished all the stories i started telling but i'm not sure if they're out you still need to know just ask me in comments so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye